Jeremiah 6.13. On the night that Rachel's in school, we're going to step away from our Jeremiah study. Tonight, I want to look at something called truth or false. Jeremiah 6.13. You remember that test in school. It would be true or false. And then they give you a statement. You had to say, was it true or was it false? And that statement could, it could be a long statement. And it could be, everything's right. But one little point is not right, incorrect, false. Then the whole thing had to be marked, false. So Jeremiah 6.13, from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, Everyone is given to covetousness. From the prophet, even unto the priest, everyone is dealing falsely. That's our text. Falsely. They're lying. They're deceiving. To deal falsely is to lie. So the one thing that we must search the scripture, and we must study, Lies. Because it goes on in the church. I have sat under many preachers who out of the pulpit lie. Now it may be for a joke. It may be for a pun. It may be for a ha-ha. It may be a little white lie. But there are lies coming out of the pulpit. Now I had a pastor out me allegedly just outright lie a couple so to begin our study in lying if you take your Bibles the Gospel of John 844 in the Gospel of John 844 Jesus speaking year of your father the devil the lust of your father you will do Remember that they were into covetousness? Jeremiah 6.13 Paul tells us in Romans 7 covetousness is lusting and lusting is covetousness. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. A liar. Lies. Because there is no truth in him. And when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. So, whether a saved or a lost man lies, we are taking on the characteristic of the father, the devil. He fathers and nurtures lies. He's a liar. So we find another place that the devil or Satan, both of them are the same, authors lies. So when we come to 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their words. Now, looking at verse 15. Therefore is no great thing if his ministers, who is the his? Run back to verse 14, it's Satan. And Satan is transformed into an angel of light. He looks like an angel of light. He acts like an angel of light. His ministers are transformed as ministers of righteousness. 
They look like they're ministers of righteousness. They act like they're ministers of righteousness, but they are not. They're liars. They're false. So Satan has ministers as God has ministers. Satan's ministers are pretenders. And many, many, many congregations sit under a man or woman, whether they're in the church, a synagogue, whatever their gathering place is, they sit under a person that is sent by Satan and not by God. And we've already learned that Satan, the devil, is a liar and the father of lies. And these ministers that are his are liars. Now we know that no lie is of God. For God cannot ever lie. Psalm. Now we looked at the devil, Psalms 89, verse 35. Let's look at God. God speaking. Once have I sworn in my holiness, that's God, that I will not lie unto David. God is not going to lie. Revelation 21. Revelation 21, 27. There shall in no wise enter into anything that defileth New Jerusalem. Neither whatsoever maketh, uh, excuse me, worketh an abomination or maketh a lie. When we get to New Jerusalem, when we get to the eternal life, on the other side of the great white throne judgment, there will be no one there that makes lies. There will be no Satan. There will be no Satan of ministers. And there will be no more lying and telling of this in the eternal life before the throne of God and the throne of the Lamb, the Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Samuel 15. First Samuel 15. Verse 29. Also the strength, capital S, of Israel will not lie nor repent. God will not lie. Will not. Will not lie. Satan lies. God will not lie. Numbers 23. So we're seeing the devil and we're seeing God. Satan is a liar. God is not a liar. Numbers 23 19. God is not a man that he should lie. He is not going to lie. He is not going to lie. <clears throat> Hebrews. Hebrews. Chapter 6. Hebrews 6, 18. Write these passages down. Learn them. That by two immutable things, in which it, it, it was impossible for God to lie. The ability for God to lie, he cannot tell a lie. It is impossible to God, to God to lie. He will not tell a lie. And yet the devil, Satan, is the liar. Titus. Titus chapter 1, verse 2. 
in hope of eternal life, which God, that cannot lie, God will not lie, God cannot lie, it's impossible for God to lie. Isaiah 65. Isaiah 65, verse 16. That he who blesses himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth. The God of truth. He that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of truth. That's God. John. Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth. The God of truth, the truth, Jesus is God, and God is Jesus. They cannot lie, they will not lie. It is impossible for them to lie. <clears throat> there are two modes in all the earth. It is to tell the truth. It is not to tell the truth. Because <clears throat> every truth is true. And when a truth has been altered, it may be called a half-truth, it may be called a white lie, but it is a lie. That what is true is of God. And we've seen the passages. And that which is a lie is of Satan. And we've seen the passages. Again, like I said, when a school has a test, one of those tests is true-false. Okay? True or false. A German shepherd is a mammal. That's true. True or false. A cat is a fish. False. And that's how those questions are answered. There is no other ground. In the realm of religion, science, and religion will lie to you. Religion says there is a mediator. True. The mediator is Mary. Okay, there is a mediator. True. It's Mary. False. That's a false statement. There is a Jesus. True. He came to North America. False. Jesus lived and breathed on this earth. True. Jesus is not God. False. That's the realm. In the realm of science, there is true or there is false. In the realm of history, they are changing history today. They are rewriting it. They are taking the truth of history and making it false. And it is a lie, though it is taught as a truth, it is still a lie. When I grew up as a child, they taught me in school that ben, no, uh, that uh, Paul Revere went riding through, the British are coming, the British are coming. That's a lie. He didn't do that. We were also taught that, you know, the story of George Washington 
how he cut down the, the cherry tree and he told his father, I cannot tell you a lie. I cut down the cherry tree. That is a lie because that never happened. And I've heard preachers say, oh, there are Christians in the Old Testament. That's a lie. They look forward to the cross. That's a lie. Plain and simple. There is math. Even math is being changed. From what is true to a lie. And language. In study, we must ask ourselves what we're looking at. Is it true or is it false? There's no middle ground. That test in school was true or false. There was no white lie. <laughs> There was no, I had my fingers crossed. The test was true or false, then the statement. And if everything in that statement was honest and correct, it's true. And anything in that statement, whatever, a word, if it was wrong, it's a false statement. A true statement is a square has four sides. That is true. The chemical formula of water is H3O. That's incorrect. That's incorrect. Any, any falseness is a lie and it's not the truth. Any, any part that is wrong, has been fabricated, is not the truth. And we fall into this realm of jokes. We fall into this, this realm of preacher stories. How they will take a preacher's story and make it themselves, and yet they had no part in it. And we must realize that Jesus said in the Gospel of Matthew, Every idle word man shall give an account. No truth has any falseness. Then putting truth and false into the proper place. Truth belongs to God. And falseness, lies, belong to the devil. So a preacher gets up and he preaches his entire message. And he had a joke that was totally lie. Then the preacher's a liar. The preacher gets up and has a message, and he tells a preacher story that every preacher will tell, and he made it personal about himself. The message is a lie. I heard a preacher one time, long, long, long time ago, and to get a laugh out of the congregation, and he was talking about the deacon in the church. Yeah, you know, I, I was, I was. I was driving behind such and such person and I tooted the horn to say hi and you know he lifted up his hand and gave me the bird. And the and it, it didn't happen. The preacher wanted the church to laugh at the expense of the preacher telling a lie. And also discrediting somebody who's supposed to have credit in the church. And there are many things in a preacher's outline that he will say that the Bible doesn't say. I had a preacher one time get up and say that when when uh, 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 Naaman went and dunked himself seven times in the water and he came up, you know, he had no more leprosy. He was clean. 
and everybody had pool noodles and they were having a great old time and enjoying and splashing and kicking around in the water. That's not what the Bible says, you liar. The Bible doesn't say that. You're a liar. When a person adds more to a story or a thing in the Bible subject that is not in the Bible, they're lying. Jesus was born December 25th. That's a lie. I had a Baptist preacher tell me Easter, Esther, and Christmas are two holidays of the church. No, that's a lie. I don't see the Christmas tree in Jeremiah 10. You're a liar. That person, before a group of people, what is he saying? And this is how you outline. You go in, in your class, classroom. You got a meeting at work. You're at church. You're in front of somebody lecturing. You have got, what is that person saying? My teacher is talking about nouns today. Oh, I'm in a courtroom and, and the judge is speaking about traffic violations. I'm at work and the gentleman standing before us is talking about a new phone system. Our pastor is talking about Jonah in the whale. Mom is trying to teach us how to bake cookies. What are they saying? And the question is, is it true or is it false? The teaching of evolution is false, a lie. The teaching of creation by God is the truth. Theistic evolution, God created it and they just let it go. That's a lie. On what ground is he speaking? Is he speaking of God, truth, in all truth? Or is he speaking for the devil? Lies. And lies. Remember one tad of untrue is a lie. I want to thank you people for, for listening to this video learning about the Bible, and I hope you enjoy my blue shirt. You're not wearing a blue shirt. Then I lied. Then I lied. Even if it's a joke or a jest or just something that has no value of saying, Though every idle word man shall give an account. It just it was just said to be said. If it's not true, it's a lie. They do not tell the truth. And if there is a bit of untrue, a tiny bit of untrue, my shirt is blue, then it ain't of God. So what happens when you got a modern Bible? Okay, and we'll come over here to Acts chapter. Eight. And Acts chapter eight. It says, what does he hinder me baptize the modern Bible say and he commanded his chariot to stand still and went down both of them into the water. And both Philip and the eunuch, he baptized them there. They leave 837 completely out. 
That's a lie. In 1 John, they leave out the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. That's a lie. That's a lie. When they change what God says in the modern Bible, that's a lie. It's a lie. There are men and women today in the Laodicean church age. Thus saith the Lord, and the Lord didn't say nothing. And we've seen that in Jeremiah. God said, I didn't send them. There are men who will get up before a congregation and have got up before a congregation. God led me to have this message. And they pulled the message out of a file cabinet, one that they already done before. You're a liar. You're a liar. It is God all true and nothing but the true. It is Satan. And Satan may have some truth, but he has lies making it a lie. No man ever speaks all the truth. He will lie at some time in his life. He has definitely lied growing up that whether mom or dad, someone, did you do this? No, the dog did it. No, brother did it. No, sister did it. I don't know. That's a lie. God will always speak the truth and at no time will God ever tell a lie. So here is a question. Why does he lie? To what purpose is his lie? They get a ha 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 ha. Oh, that was very funny. Ha, that was a good story. The people think highly of him. He wants people to have more value of what he's got to say than what is real. <clears throat> How often does he lie? That, that's remarkable, because that would tell you what kind of character. I had a guy I worked with, wasn't a Christian, Catholic, and besides what, every time he opened up his mouth, a filthy word came out. Also, lies came out. Was the lie intended or was it accidental? Now, I've had the accidental lie. I, I've gone in before my boss, and the boss said, you know, did you do this? No. And I... Wait a minute, boss. Hold on. You know, in the spur of the moment, I've done this. I did it. I lied. I, I said I didn't do it. I did it. I apologize. You know, that would get you character. You know what will stop you from lying if you got a problem with lying? Like I said, my boss said, did you do this? No, I didn't. Right then and there, you say, well, stop the picture. I want to tell you, I just lied. For whatever reason I liked, I did do it. And your flesh is going to get so angry with you. And it's going to get to the point, you know, if I keep lying, he's going to keep calling me out on it. Oh, no. Not only confess your sins before God, but make your lies correct and right by walking up to the people you lied to and say, hey, that thing I told you, I lied. You'll be on the road of recovery. I believe it was Robert E. Lee told a man, he says, I'll see you on Friday, 2 o'clock, whatever. And Robert E. Lee turned his horse around and went a day's journey to meet with that gentleman and say, I was wrong, I'm sorry. It's, it can't be Friday. It's got to be another day.
There's accidental lies. You, you, the spur of the moment, you know, I'm in trouble, boom, you're going to lie. And then there are lies just purposely done. Educators teach lies. Pastors will teach lies so they can have a congregation. Did he premeditate the lie? Did he purposely, I'm going to say this, it's wrong, but I'm going to say it anyway. I'm going to teach this, and it's wrong, but I'm going to, because people like what I'm going to say. Though it's wrong. Because if I say the truth, I'm going to get a whole bunch of people upset at me. They're going to get a whole bunch of people angry with me. If I say the truth, what did Paul say to Christians? Have I become your enemy because I've spoken the truth? Paul spoke the truth even if it caused hatred. I speak the truth and people don't like it. That's tough. And what did it produce? What did it produce? What did the truth produce? What did the lie produce? You know, in order to be a liar, you have to have a good memory. Because you're going to have to recall that lie that you said to back up when it comes back to kick you in the butt. You, you tell your boss, you call I'm not feeling well today. I just, oh man, I got a fever and oh, I just don't feel well. I can't come to work. And the weekend passes. On Monday morning, you show up to work and, you, and your boss comes to you and goes, How did it go Friday? You better remember what you told your boss. Because you may have to back up that line. Now, if you tell the truth, you don't have to remember because you know what the truth is. So back to Jeremiah. Look at the next verse. Jeremiah. Chapter 6. Verse 14. They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly. Now you tell that lie. And we're going to look at it in a moment. You're not doing very good for the people. Saying peace, peace, when there is no peace. So here there's a lie. They're preaching peace, peace, peace. But there is no peace. Who tells the entire truth? God does. What did God say? He said there will be no peace. What are the prophets teaching? Peace. Someone is lying. And it's not God. So with what we studied before, the prophets who are teaching and the priests are teaching peace, peace. And God said there is no peace. Who's telling the truth? God is. Who's telling the lie? The priests and the prophets. Who are the priests and the prophets speaking of and for? Satan. They were saying words that amuse the people, as many ministries do, and it makes the people feel good. But the feelings doesn't amend what God actually said. For the children of Israel, oh, they're saying peace, peace, peace. And God says there's no peace. There's coming a great hurt for the people. Now, it, it, the people slightly, it, oh, we feel good. It feels such a great message. It was so great. But then when the the reality of what God really says hits. Well, now you got trouble. The prosperity gospel 
makes people please. But when God reveals his truth, then there is no pleasing by the lies that they were told and by the lies they believe. Now the example is, there are religions and there are men and women that will teach there is no hell. That's a lie. But God said there is a hell and he said he created it. People feel relieved that their church or their meeting place says there is no hell. Their pastor, their rabbi, their scholar, their teacher, whoever, whatever they are. Oh, I feel good. He says there's no hell. But when they die and end up in hell, they're no longer relieved. Imagine somebody waking up in hell. Well, this is not what I was told in church. I was told there was no hell. What a time to learn that you've been listening to a liar. There are countless subjects that God says yay and nay. There are countless men and women that teach counterwise to what God says. God said this and they teach that. God said that and they teach this. They are lying. God never lies. The congregation that loves to disregard God's word so they may feel good and maybe have no worries or anxieties. The prophets dealt, deal with falsely, as men and women today deal falsely, that they say contrary to what God said. And Satan has been doing this since Adam and Eve, Genesis chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3, Verse 4, and the serpent, which is the Satan or the devil, Revelation 12, said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. That is the only lie that Satan told. And that one little lie made all the statements that Satan said a lie. God said, thou shalt surely die. That's a lie. That men or women who take Satan's side may say everything correctly, but one tad of untruth makes it a lie. Just as Satan did in Genesis chapter 3. Now we saw in, in, in Jeremiah 6.14, they're saying peace, peace, and God said there is no peace. The popes of the Roman Catholic Church preach and teach and visit every land peace 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 and there has never been peace the catholic church itself causes unpeace killing and murdering true christians as those christians hold true to the very word of god there have been more wars and conflicts and police actions brought to you by the Catholic Church and the United Nations and they peace, peace, peace. And God says, there is no peace, peace, peace. As a matter of fact, before the millennia, the thousand year reign of Jesus Christ, the Bible speaks there are at least two more world wars coming. On October 24th, 1945, the United Nations was founded. 
Now this is wars and conflicts from from 1945 October to today, July 2, 2021. The Arab, the Arab Israel War. I won't give the dates. The Korean War, the Algerian War, the Vietnam War, the Six Day War, the War of Acheron, the Yom Kippur War, the Dirty War, the Afghan War, the Iraq, the Iran Iraq War, the Falkland Islands War, the Persian Gulf War, the Bosnia conflict, the Kosovo conflict, the Afghanistan War, the Iraq War, the Syria Civil War. While the United Nations preach peace, 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 they're liars. Look at the wars. In 5090 AD, the first Pope, Gregory the Great, <laughs> and to pick off where we left off, from 590 AD, the Norman Conquest, the Crusades, which is Roman Catholic, the Gumpel War, the Barons War, the Hundred Years War, the War on Eight Saints, the Hundred Years War, the Thirteen Years War, War of the Roses, the Onion War, the Counts War, Arishishan War, Leviathan War, the Eight Years War, War of Three Henrys, the Eighty Years War, Calmer War, Thirty Years War, Pol Pot War, the Bishop's War, the English Civil War, the First Northern War, War of Devo Devotion, King Philip's War, the War of the Grand Alliance, King William's War, Second Northern War, War of the Spanish Succession, War of the Imbolimus, the Carnic Wars, Queen Anne Wars, Yancey War, War of the Polish Succession, War of Jenkins' Ear, the War of Australian Succession, King George's War. This is since the Pope. What was the name again? Gregory the Great. The Catholic Church says peace, peace, peace. The French and Indian War, the South Eastern War, the Seven Years War, Lord Drummond's War, Rahel War, American Revolution, First Martha War, the War of the Pavilion Succession. Cape Frontier Wars, French Revolution, French Revolutionary Wars, Cape Frontier Wars, French Revolutionary Wars, the War of the Oranges, Triptilian War, Second Martha War, the Third Martha War, the Ponyet Wars, the Black War, the Pencil of War, the War of 1812, the Creek War, the War of Greek Independence, the Padre War, the Nanan War, the Pastry War, Mexican American War, the Crimean War, the Bleeding Kansas, the American Civil War, the War of the Triple Alliance, the Seven Weeks War, the Sangor Civil War, the Franco-German War, Ace Healy's War, the Red River Indian War, the Serbo-Turkish War, Anglo-Zuzu War, the War of the Pacific, the Gun War, the Sin Sino-French War, Suberto belgian War, South African War, the War of the Thousand Days, Ace Hasey's War, the Philippine American War, South African War, the War of a Thousand Days, Boxer Rebellion, Moro Wars, Russo Japanese War, the Pig War, the Mexican Revolution, Italo Turkish War, World War I, the Baltic War of Liberation, the Russian Civil War, the Russo Polish War, the Rift War, Sitco War, Italian Ethiopian War, the Spanish Civil War, the Sino Japanese War, the Phony War, the Russo Finnish War, World War II, and then the Arabian Israel War, and then what we just read off of the United Nations. This is the Roman Catholic Church, peace, peace, peace. Brother, God that is Satan of your church doesn't answer your prayer request. So when the Pope and the United Nations speak about peace, 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 
there's more than a tad bit of lies. And remember, the truth is the truth and is of God. A lie, even if it's a tad, even if it's one word, my blue shirt, if it's not true, it is a lie. And lies are of the devil. 